What's up guys, it's Eric. Today we're going to be doing another film stock review. It's been a long time since we did one of these, I know. I hope you guys are into it. Today we're going to be talking about Ilford FP4+. Plus. Ilford FP4 Plus is a film that has in one iteration or another been around for a long time. This is one of the oldest films available on the market. It was initially introduced by Ilford in 1935 as FP and it was a 28 speed film so incredibly slow uh, speed film that was available for four years before they introduced FP2, an 80 speed film and then eventually uh, FP3, FP4 and the current version FP4+. Plus. Ilford FP4 Plus is a cubic grain black and white film, and essentially all that means is that it uses a different grain structure, an older grain structure than something uh, like T-Max, which is a newer T-grain technology. It's a very classic look to these images. I think it's incredibly beautiful, and it's something that I'll be happy to show you guys and kind of go over when we look at some images. FP4 Plus is a true black and white film, unlike something like uh, XP2 that you can process in C41 chemistry, this is going to use traditional black and white chemistry as you'd probably expect. So even though FP4 Plus is rated at 125, which technically makes it a medium speed film, though honestly probably closer to slow for practical use, uh, you don't have to shoot it at 125. In fact, one of the most appealing aspects of this film is similar to like Kodak Triax, it's incredibly forgiving. You can overshoot or, or undershoot the, the exposure on this film drastically and still often get a perfectly usable image. And beyond that, you can push or pull the film substantially. I mean, you can push this up to like 6400 and still get some pretty nice usable photographs. For that reason, this is something I would recommend if you're just breaking into shooting film. If you've never shot black and white film and maybe you can't find Tri-X, this can be a good alternative. It's going to really, really go easy on you and it's not going to punish you the way some other film stocks might if you don't get that exposure just right. So I mentioned earlier that this is a cubic grain film and essentially it just means that it uses an older grain technology than some of the newer films on the market and in no way does that mean that it's less like aesthetically pleasing. This is a beautiful, beautiful film and the grain is I think one of the most appealing parts of the image. It's just buttery. FP4 images have this really beautiful smooth look to them that is so different from digital photography but at the same time really, really, really beautiful in their own right. They they just kind of melt and the highlights fall off in this really gorgeous way. And of course, like so many other black and white films, the look that you get out of this is going to be dictated in large part by how you process the film. So you're going to have a bunch of different looks available to you based on, you know, the temperature you use, how long you develop it for. You can get anywhere from incredibly crunchy, dark, contrasty shadows to, to something with, you know, a lot more mid-range to it and a lot more detail in the shadows. No matter what though, I find FP4 to be really, really lovely looking. It's, it's a beautiful film with a lot of versatility, a lot of history, and a really unique look. So yeah, FP4 Plus is just a beautiful film. It's super versatile, super forgiving, really, really, really beautiful with sort of a classic film look to it. And if you're someone like me who, who likes grain, I love grain in my black and white images. If I wanted to go shoot digital, I would shoot digital. I want something that looks like a film image. I want something that looks classic and beautiful and, and full of character, you know, and history. And this film has that in spades. So go out buy some, take photos, and beyond that, support Ilford. You know, if you're someone like me who's become kind of concerned about Kodak's future and Fujifilm doesn't seem particularly interested in, in supporting their, their film division, uh, Ilford is in it to win it. They're in it for the long haul, and as long as there's people out there to buy film, I believe Ilford's going to be making it. So if you want to support any of these companies, maybe support Ilford and uh, try out some FP4+. Plus. So have you shot FP4+, Plus? if you have, uh, what do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Uh, do you prefer other film stocks? Why? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions on film stocks you would like to see me tackle going forward or, or other topics, by all means, always feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I really do enjoy putting these film stock videos together. They're fun. It lets me kind of comb through my images on my computer and pick out some to show off and hopefully give you an idea what you can achieve with the film. Uh, if you like it, of course, subscribe, comment. You guys know everything. I do have a Patreon if you want to help me buy new film stocks and so on and so forth. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next week.